Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here. And today I want to talk about a product that actually I did not create. It's it's a decal package by Sir Charles Hurst. And Charles is someone I've known for a number of years. He's an absolutely fantastic 2D artist. He is a graphic designer and a UX specialist. And I've asked him if he wouldn't help create some decal packages for kid ops and decal machine. This video is just going to talk about part of his product. And this part is actually a free part. It's a demonstration of some of the stuff that you'll be seeing his upcoming 370 plus decal package. They're broken out into themes and we'll talk about that in a bit. First, let's talk about how you would go about installing this into kid ops. Now remember that this package has kid ops, K packs. It also has a zip file for decal machine. And it also comes with the PNGs and a PDF library to tell you about how these things work. So let's get started and talk first about how we're going to install this. Okay, here we are. We have our kidops.zip file and we have it stored on the desktop in a folder called test. So let's go ahead and extract it. And now we have this folder, which has the master folder. Inside the master folder is the classic corp folder, which is our freebie decal folder. Go back to Blender. And when we're in Blender, we'll go into Preferences. We'll go into Add-ons. We'll go to Kit Ops. We'll go to File Pass. I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to choose a path. I'll go to my desktop. I'll go to Test. And here's this folder. And this is our master folder, the NIMS-CCL. SC NIMS. So that's what we want. We want that. When we see this one, we'll say accept. And with that set up, I can go ahead and save the current state. And if I go over here, I'll now be able to look in here and I'll see SC Classic Corp, which is the first K pack for that master folder. That's the free one that we just got in. So that's all set up now. If I click on it, we'll see all the different decals that are ready to be added. So it's that simple. Remember that you want to choose not the SC Classic Corp. It's important that you choose this SC NIMS folder. So that's the thing to look out for. So let's show how we use these decals. So I've got this little award sitting here on this kitchen table. And uh, first, let's put something on the actual table. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look at this. I'll have this this way one. We'll take this. Select our table and just like any other insert, we're just going to hit the add insert button and we'll move it over here. We have a nice decal sitting right on our surface. It's already colored. If we want to change the color, let's say we want to change the color. So I'm going to go into our, our material and we have these two red boxes. So first we'll go to this color one and I'm going to change the color to something like, let's just turn it, turn a little bit more, turn, turn the gray off. So this is our color on or off. I turn it off. It's going to be at a medium sized gray, but I'll leave it all the way on and let's just make it maybe just a light teal, something like this. Now with this set up, we may notice that the actual, there's an actual texture underneath this. So I'm going to go in here to the decal again and I'm going to add that decal grunge. So as I slide this slider up, you'll see it'll kind of break up a little bit. So I'll just add just a little bit of grunge here. So now I have this grunge sitting on top of this surface. So it looks like it's been peeled off a little bit. Now, if I want to, I can do things like principled BSDF. And we can make this something completely metallic if we want and turn down the roughness. And now we're going to start to see that we've got more of a metallic feature on that. That's kind of neat. The other thing we can do at any time is we can select it and we can just go in here and we can just hook up the emission shader instead. And now we have a emissive decal. So this could be something to be used in a display or something like that, but I don't want that. I'm going to go back and go back to where we were. So, okay, now let's go ahead and add one to this glass. This is going to be fairly straightforward. We'll grab this classic corp right here and we'll say add insert and we'll put it over here. I'll scroll the mouse wheel to get it a little bigger and I will hit this item and I'll scale it on the Y at zero. So we know we're cent centered and I'm going to hit the S and move it up. And this one, you can see it reflects nicely through the glass. I'm going to make this one a white color 
and turn off the saturation so it's kind of like a little frosted I can go in and bring the roughness all the way down and I can even add a clear coat to it if I want as well so it gives it even more shininess so now we have our logo on top of there and lastly let's go ahead and put something here going to KitOps again our SC Classic Corp and this time I'm going to actually filter by SC because all of our decals are going to be in the SC range and when I do that now I only have these two it actually finds anything with an SC in it so here's our Classic Corp I'll go in here and I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to add the insert right there I'm going to rotate about the Z270 scale and we'll center it there and this one we will make black so we'll see that so so now you can see this is a uh, good example of how you can use decals to add more detail to your models especially in Eevee so I hope this was helpful I would suggest that you should stay tuned because there are some great packages coming together. This particular one is for Classic Corp, but there will be other many themed packages all with their own visual identity. So thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you later.